Hey people, it's Athenic here from Gaming Techie, and when I came home this evening from a four mile run, yes, four miles, I ran into a very interesting issue, and I thought I'd walk us through it. Uh, so first of all, I didn't really notice anything weird, browsed a little bit on the internet, checked Twitter out, do my normal stuff, when all of a sudden, I started to... The room started to get a little hotter. I thought that was a little bit weird, but nothing out of the ordinary. And uh, so I decided to uh, do a test um, in Rainbow Six. Uh, I was looking to play that anyway later tonight, so I figured I'd give it a try. And my fans on my GPU, one of my GPUs went berserk. And I'm like, that's weird. My GPUs are usually running at in the 30s tops, because I got two Titan X's running into water cooling. So I booted up... Um, Precision X, which I've been running a little light overclock recently, and to my dismay, my first GPU was acting fine at 33, even under load, but my second one, no load, was running in the 50s, and then when I ran, um, when I ran the game, it went up to 95. That's when I killed it. Um, it's an interesting issue, and uh, I was trying to think, and maybe the GPU isn't. Um, this, the cooler isn't seated properly. Maybe the fans aren't blowing on the on the radiator. You know, there's a lot of different possibilities for this. But um, as I'm going to show you, because I'm going to have to take this, I'm going to have to take that that puppy out of there. Um, it feels to me that the um, pipes that carry the water to the radiator that they do not feel like there's anything moving in there. So I suspect that the issue might be in this case. Um, the radiator is either bad or not getting power. I'm going to try... The goal um, is going to be, obviously, to fix it if possible, but I'm going to look at um, the fans, I'm going to look at the power cables, and uh, I'm going to see what I could do with this. Uh, if I cannot get this this GPU working again, then I'm going to have to take off the shroud Put back on the initial cooler and um, RMA the EVGX water cooler. The second one's running fine, as you guys can see in the uh, in the tool, but uh, in EVGA. But it looks like the, there is an issue with the other one. So I'm gonna switch to an external camera and I'm gonna take you through my computer, which was gonna be another video, but it will have to be this one for now. Alright guys, so here's my computer case. Um, now I need to crack open this front panel and we can get started looking into what the issue may be. Like I said, I suspect that it is the pump on the radiator, um, but we'll see. So the issue is with the second card. This is the top one. This one, if you feel the pipes, you can feel um, the water moving through it. When I touch these ones, not so much. You know what, actually? These feel like they're moving now. I wonder if there's a loose power cable somewhere here. Hmm. Interesting. Everything else seems to be intact. CPU is running cool. The top card's running really cool. This one feels a lot cooler now. I suspect that um, maybe there's like a loose cable somewhere, so I'm gonna have to move it around and see what's up. Um, I thought I was gonna have to take this out now, but let me check back with the computer and uh, hopefully that, that it's resolved. All right, peeps. Um, we went and opened it up and it really felt like the pump was working again. Now let's check the temps here. And we are back at the 26, 27 range. So it was seated fine. Um, the fan was working fine. I suspect that um, when I shut the power off today in the apartment that it's possible that it, um, I don't know, didn't boot back up right. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities. We're going to keep a close eye on this over the next couple days, and we'll see, um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll post another video if... Uh, if it goes wrong, and uh, if not, EVGA will be getting an RMA. What do you say?